John, just starting with Hutch, what did you see in him in an obvious need to rebound from his last start? As or a, a good fastball tonight in, in a good in a good slider. He, he really did. You know, he was kind of, he, he wasn't spotting it, but it was really. I mean, I thought his fastball was kind of overpowering tonight, which we've seen him. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a kid that can get strikeouts. Um, yeah, good outing for him in a, in a tight ball game. You know, and he uh, he gave it just what we needed, and the in the bullpen was great. They really were tonight. And you know, they're I mean, they're a little beat up. They're worn out off that last road trip. So, tip my hat to those guys for you know performing there. And then, you know, we opened it up late. You know, that, and uh, scored a lot of runs. Is what, what, that's one thing we do though. Gibby Nice was really on his game early on, but the bottom of your order, uh, Pilar and. Going for 1.5 for five. Can you just talk about uh, what you got from the bottom and really they started to generate the offense for you? Well, yeah, I mean, Nice was good. I mean, he really was. You know, he, he kept us off balance. Uh, you know, really in a nice little breaking ball he was throwing over strikes and he'd elevate that fastball. Uh, you know, he held us in check pretty good. I mean, I thought he did a hell of a job. But the bottom of our order, yeah, they, uh, I mean, you can, I mean, you can really go back all year. I mean, those guys have been really good. Um, you know, in this last road trip, or these last few weeks when we've been on, we're on that nice little streak. You know, but that, that's huge for a team, and I know we've talked about it before that you know that was kind of a you know a, a black hole at times for us last year, but they just keep doing it. Um, but you know, you talk about Pilar and Goins. I mean, they're you know I think they both feel like they belong now. You know, in the past they've been up and down. Now they're here, and, and they uh, they've been big big contributors. And I mean, look at. Uh, uh, Rhino's game defensively tonight. You know, I don't. You guys have all seen that plenty of times, but you know, I mean, there was a bunch of them today. So, good for him. John Del Delabar in a tight game. I mean, comes in, gives you another good four outs. What are, what are you seeing from him over the last five six outings? Yeah, Steve. Steve's really throwing well right now. He, uh, well, you know, he's. Uh, I mean, his fastball's good. Um, you know, I know it may not be playing up to the number that he used to used to throw it, but I mean, it's it's, it's exploding. I think he's 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 finding that. I mean, he's in a good. He's locked in with his split right now, um, and he you know he's attacking. He, he he's confident. So uh, yeah, but he's. I mean, since he got here, I mean, he's really been he's, he's been good. Just wondering what your working theories might be on why Hutch has been so successful at home compared to the road this year, whereas as ERA is a difference of like seven a game. Right. Yeah, I I don't know because I think it, at one point last year it was just the opposite. You know, he was effective, more effective on the road than he was at home. And, you know, I don't even think about it. I mean, numbers are what they are, you know, I mean, because, you know, who knows why that is, you know, and I mean, that could flip from here on out. You don't, you don't know. It's one of those things that, you guys get bored with, so you look at it and try to figure it out, but who knows? Right, Larry? Give in the second there on the, on the uh, delayed double steal. Was that something that Pilar wanted Valencia to read off, or was that something you called? Yeah, we yeah we put that on. You know, if he when he takes off and. The key there is, I mean, he's just got to keep going. If he gets blown up, I mean, that's on me anyway. Uh, you know, if you get in a rundown, well, you know, there's there's two outs, you're you're doomed. So, yeah, if he gets a, he gets a read, he's got to be aggressive with it. You know, you got a base dealer on first base, and, and you know that play a lot of times works. You know, uh, you know if you got a speed guy on third base, teams recognize that, and they may just they may just eat the ball anyway, thinking that you could pull something off off like that. Doesn't happen much at this level. Really, even pro ball. I mean, we pulled it off earlier in the year. But the key is, you know, get a, get a jump, get a read, and he, he he cuts it loose, go, and then you know, keep going. So at least make him make a play on you at the plate, whether you're safe or out. And you know, it was it was the left on left at the time with two outs. Thought maybe we could steal a run right there. Wrong. <laughs> 